that's quite a rub. Not real huge in diameter, but I'll tell you what. I was here about four years ago, and this tree was rubbed. We were here last gun season, and this tree was rubbed. I think it's a signpost rub. It takes me a little while to get it through my head, but I mean, you can see hairs. You can see hairs on this thing, and you can see some of the bark on top of the leaves, right down in here. Still bark shavings. I think this is kind of recent. You can see how this tree used to be bigger in diameter, but they've rubbed it for so many years, and I think we might just walk back in here. It's real thick, real thick saplings. We've got another three quarters of a mile to go. We might just stop right here and rattle really quick. It's uh, November 1st, it's 55 degrees or so. It's a beautiful day to rattle. Might as well try it. First night here in Ohio. It's a beautiful night. The, the colors are just coming in, even though it's November 1st. But we've got a great saddle right here. There's some thick bedding area down beneath us. There's some bedding area above us. They seem to cross through this area. Let's see.
and goes Frazier. Oh. <laughs> Holy moly. He's down right there. Right there. I don't know what he is. Eight, ten, whatever he is. He's a dandy. I mean, I just rattled a little bit ago. I don't think he came into rattling, but I'm not sure. But, uh, I mean, 35 yards. I drew back. Came into about 25 yards. Got to about 25 yards. Tony goes, I don't have him. He came behind my tree. I had to let down. Move around to the other side of my tree. Took him right here. And he's down right over the hill. That's what you come to Ohio for. Clear Creek Outfitters. November 1st. It is awesome. And we got a deer down. We've only been hunting for two hours. Oh. I think I might have hit him just a hair high. He kind of ducked just a tad. But I could see I could see it come out low on the other side. But he went right over that hill and I think he's down. You want the bow? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It's a little bit chilly out here, but I just shot a buck and I'm shaking. It is so cool. But we shot him about 15 yards. We're gonna give him 10 minutes and we're gonna go over there and take a look because I know I watched him go down. And then we're gonna get back in the stand and Tony's gonna shoot one. So, give me a second, folks. <laughs> where we hit him. He whirled right here. Look at this blood right here. Oh yeah. point right here. Got a little little point right here. Nice typical eight point Ohio whitetails. Dandy buck. Man, he's got a big body on him. We are about a mile back in here. It's gonna take us a long time to get him back out, but I'm trying to be quiet because Tony's gonna sit in the stand now. But oh, if you want to shoot a big buck in November, there's no other place to do it than Ohio. We're here with Clear Creek Outfitters, and we just shot ourselves a real nice buck. And we still got four more days for Tony to shoot one, so I think even Tony can get it done in four days. So, you got great vi video footage of this one. We already checked it out to make sure I made a good hit, and we tracked him right up. And the sun behind me is still in, high in the sky. We just got here two hours ago maybe, set the stands, and we got a buck on the ground. Look at that. Nice buck. Very nice buck. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my daddy's channel.